Hey, Stephanie Link, what do you think of it? They say of Exxon, this is BMO. This period of oil weakness impacts its earnings and cash flow to a lesser degree than most of its peers. Yet they say it still is expensive relative to its peers. Yeah, and so it's gone down the, the least of the big ones. Um, and so I kind of get that. And at the same time, it's off 17%, so you're getting a better deal. It yields 3.2%, but I still think that CapEx budgets need to come down and earnings estimates need to come down. And there are a lot of other companies out there that are doing kind of self-help things that are down even more. And when I say that, ConocoPhillips or Royal Dutch or Marathon, uh, these, con these companies are down 25 30%, and they yield pretty attractive levels. And so I think that there are better values. Even though this is a defensive call, I get it. I think there are better values in the majors if that's where you want to go. How about you, Neely Gilbert? What do you think? Do you own either Exxon, Chevron, any of the big energy names? Yes. You know, when it comes to energy, for us, we've really, we really try to spread our bets across industries, and that's been key in playing the sector. Uh, you know, when you look at the energy group down about 22 percent since the end of June, you see a lot of spread within that between sub-industries where you see, the, for example, the exploration and production companies underperforming the group by 13 percent, but you see uh, refiners, for example, outperforming by 13 percent. So for us, maintaining a balance across energy has been really important.